Hey guys, how are you? In our today's session, I will show you how you can use the jQuery pagination in spmvc.net 6 project. So let me create a project and then I will show you each and everything step by step. So go to Visual Studio and I will run as, admi uh, ad as an ad uh, administrator. Here I will select the create uh, create a new project template and search here for SPMVC right select this one and click on next now I will give name to my application uh, app, app pagination okay and I will click on next now here from the drop down select the latest version of .NET which is uh, 6.0 at this time and leave other thing as it is and click on create okay so the project uh, created successfully let's me first run the project and uh, let's we see whether it's working or not Okay, so the project loaded successfully. It is our home page and it is the privacy page. Right? Now I will add here uh, a new, uh, I mean, uh, HTML table and I will apply the jQuery pagination on this table. So in the privacy page, I will add here the HTML table with jQuery pagination. Okay? So first go to the privacy page. Okay, I will just put here H1, uh, H3 tag, jQuery pagination in spmvc.net6, right? And here I will put a break, okay? And inside the div, I will just add an HTML table and then I will apply jQuery pagination on this table. So, copy a simple uh, bootstrap table. So, go to bootstrap table. Sorry for the incorrect spelling. Okay, so go to the official website of bootstrap. And I will copy a table from this site. Uh, I think... this one is okay okay so to copy the html of this table just click on this copy and go to your privacy.cshtml page and paste here control kd for formatting the text remove this option this one and also this one no i will copy these all rows and will paste here so that we can so that we have enough data for the pagination copy and paste control s and no click on the hot reload option in visual studio 2022 to refresh the page okay you can see here that we have lots of data but with no pagination option to go to the next pages and to the previous pages right now i will apply jquery pagination on this table no, you have to uh, just include these li uh, CSS library and these JavaScript li library inside your project. So copy this one, right? And go to your layout page, shared layout, and add here um, the CSS. Right. Add the link you have to add the relation attribute and it will be the style sheet and you have also to add the href the path of the library right so I added the CSS library and here in the bottom of the page I have to add the uh, JavaScript library also so copy this one paste here 
and no copy the JavaScript library and paste here. Okay, I will share these two libraries path uh, inside the description of this video. So you can find uh, the path to this library inside this description, right? Control S. Now go to the privacy page and give an ID to your HTML table. Here uh, is my uh, table tag and I will give here an ID. Pagination example, right? No, copy this one and go to the layout page and add here a script. And just copy these lines of code inside the script. Control KD for formatting the text. So basically, this line of code uh, means that once the document ready, the whole HTML document ready, then on the ID with these, uh, I mean, uh, to, to these uh, tag ID, you have to apply the data table and this data table will apply the pagination, the search, and each and every kind of option. So my table ID is uh, pagination example. Remove this one. Okay. Control S. Go to the page and refresh. Nothing happen. Reload. And now you can see here that a beautiful pagination is applied on the table. You can go to the next pages, to the previous page, to the next page directly. And here we have the search option also. Let's suppose I search for Jacob. I search for Noor. There is no data. I search for some other text like this one. Yes, you can see that no here. Our pagination also becomes uh, small because we have less data for this search. If I remove, you can see that we have no pagination for the whole table. Uh, these uh, show that uh, we have uh, total 45 records and we are displaying 1 to 10 per page. If I select the 25 option, then here you can see uh, that we have no 25 uh, rows per table. I can also select 100, then here you can see I have displayed all the records in a single page. I can select 10 again, you can see the pagination. So just by doing this simple line of code, uh, you have to insert the CSS library, you have to insert the JavaScript library, and you have to give a name to your table, uh, sorry, ID to your table, and then in the document.ready, you have just to copy and paste the table ID, and then each and everything will be displayed like in this way. Uh, thank you for watching the video, and please don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Thank you.